Alright, let's quickly cover some of the cool dithering options that you have available in, in ProMotion. As you can see up here, under Mode, we're actually in two different painting modes at the same time. One is normal paint mode, and the other is dither mode. And one basic, uh, as you can see also, I have paint mode settings dialog open. I went to Mode and Settings to bring that up. And here it is, and this is where you can adjust uh, several of the different drawing modes, including uh, you have a palette here from which you can pick some different dither patterns and manipulate them as well to sort of custom custom on it. So if I want to keep this one at 64, I'll do so. But um, anyway, so here's an example of the power of, of the dithering options. You could say, simply pick up a brush, but because you're in dither mode as well as paint mode, any pattern you pick is the pattern in which the artwork will be drawn in. And as you can see, it keeps the color data. It simply skips the appropriate uh, columns and rows it's supposed to skip to create that dither pattern with that brush. So if I pick a more dense version, you'll see uh, you create the illusion of a, of a less opaque variation using purely a dither pattern of that particular brush. Uh, so that in itself is quite powerful. More commonly, you're going to be using it with a single color draw. And as you can see, it's simply drawing that one color and skipping whatever pixels is necessary. And I can just simply uh, pick from my palette and uh, draw uh, in this dither gradient, which is fairly small as you can see. Uh, so that's, that's the most basic uh, drawing with dither mode that's available. I should also mention set up soft keys, shortcut keys, to uh, skip from each of these, either forward or back, to the previous path, which makes drawing with, uh, with dithers very, very quick. 